thrilling game today. We'll just let you start with an opening statement. Um, you know, I, I, I think, uh, again, our girls our girls fought. Um, I think there was a situation where, um, again, we could have rolled over. Uh, you know, fortunately, Bowling Green missed some free throws that were able to give us opportunities. And um, we had uh, Lauren stepped up and hit a couple threes that kind of put us right there. And uh, and then we had some good looks right at the very end. But, you know, when I look at the, at the whole thing, you know, the offensive rebounding, you know, we gave up too many offensive rebounds in the first half. I thought we came out very well, very strong, uh, all the way up to about the eight minute uh, in the second quarter. And then uh, they went on a run. I felt like we made some critical errors on the defensive end that we hadn't been making up to that point, And we didn't make again. <laughs> really, for the well, a couple times in the fourth quarter. Um, um, uh, so, certainly, uh, certainly, um, Lambert for them played extremely well in the first half, and uh, she got loose on us a, a few times when our post players um, unfortunately didn't step out. But she's she's a good she's a good player, and um, they hung tough and and were able to get it. Do you find any solace in the fact that this is a second straight game, yet you've gotten an open look at the end? Maybe some teams don't even get that opportunity, but just kind of to get to yourself to that point. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if solace is the word. I mean, I, I, I'll take some solace in it. I, I'll take this. They're, they're fighters. Our team is fighters. They, they, they never gave up. Game was, uh, you know, their seven-point lead, of, I think, under a minute. And in most situations like that, you know, you're not going to have a look at the end. And, and we actually got two looks. We actually got two looks at the end. And um, one uh, off our sideline out of bounds, and then the ball goes out of bounds, and we get an out of bounds underneath. Two, two really, I think, good looks um, at the basket uh, to try and get the win and try and get a sneak, to, you know, sneak that out. Because I felt like in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, we did some things, and they hit some shots, and they pounded it inside on us that it really you know, it hurt us. You mentioned that there were some errors where they went on their run there. Was there anything that they were doing to kind of disrupt your defensive structure? Yeah, I mean, I think they ran their stuff, and they ran their stuff well. But we, we got in foul trouble again. And so now we're rotating people through that, that you know, um, aren't, um, you, you know, uh, maybe in the rhythm of the game or understanding, you know, exactly what's going on in the game. And that happens sometimes. You're coming off the bench. So we had a few, uh, I think, mental errors like that. But, again, that's not what we're going to focus on. Let's focus on that we, that we fought. I, I thought we had a lot of really good shots go in and out and 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 that's going to happen some nights and some days and and I think uh, had we had some of those shots go down for us uh, that were really good looks um, you know could have been a different result obviously Lambert in the second quarter getting very hot was a factor but it also seemed like maybe the one two two that they shifted to from time to time kind of affected your offensive flow yes I thought it kept us from uh, attacking I thought we were attacking them really well early on and they went into the zone and and, and that's what you do a zone and and uh, I didn't think we handled that very well we didn't adjust to it very well we stopped uh, we stopped uh, getting to the As a matter of fact I don't think we drew a foul in the second quarter until maybe a minute and something left. Uh, between two minutes and one minute left, so that tells you we were not attacking. Yeah, and same thing in the fourth. And and I don't know if it's because we get a little tired or what. I think part of it was probably the zone. So, well, I guess was what kind of you take away from this? So you guys have been a pretty good run despite maybe a couple unlucky results lately. How, how do you move forward with with stuff like that? Well, we got to keep our eyes forward. We got to keep our eyes forward, and we got to keep uh, uh, believing that uh, in in what we're doing, believing in the system, believing in what uh, what we're running, believing in each other. And uh, and so I think we have to do that because there's there's still still plenty of basketball uh, yet to be played, and uh, so uh, you know uh, while this one really hurts um, uh, because you felt like you had a lead and you had some of those things it really hurts um, you know let's use that to motivate us uh, to to um, uh, to play a little sharper throughout the game because we had that like I said we had those little lulls and we had the lull um, they were able to take advantage of us. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you.